हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टेक ए शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड इफ नॉट देन इट कैन बी अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओवरऑल दिस विल बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इन योर सिलेबस एंड ऑल्सो नॉट टू फॉरगेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग इन आई टी देन दिस सब्जेक्ट डज हैव ए वास्ट एंड रिच स्कोप so before i begin with the actual definition of database management system let me give you a real world example we all have computer systems and if not then at least you might have a smartphone in our computers there will be different types of files like movies music games applications etc but there will be one more thing that is the folders and in all those folders you might have sorted all your files according to their type for example audio in music folder movies in videos folder application in a separate application folders and so on now let's go one step further if you have many movies then you might have sub folders inside the movie folders and in those sub folders you have, you would have categorized those movies for example in sci-fi sci folder there will there will be movies like interstellar inceptions etc in action folder movies like fast and furious mission impossible etc and so so on folders like comedy romance adventures etc etc so why do we categorize files and store similar file type at one place we do this so that we can retrieve those movies easily when we want it in future and locate them easily else to find a single file that is a single movie among hundreds of movie it will be a very time consuming work and it will be very difficult to locate a single file among many thousands of files so therefore we categorize and sort them so that it is convenient for us to reach to a particular file when required dbms also works in a similar fashion it also deals with storing and retrieving of data effectively and easily and instead of music and movies here it is some important and complex data This database management system is used at many places like school colleges to maintain records of the students in libraries to record books and in industries for employee and salary management These datas are generally stored in table form for example look at school we need to store and retrieve details of student in schools so here we have to store the following data that is id of a student its name roll number and standard so it will look like the following table when stored in the database